I've talked about tryhards a lot in videos, but today I'm gonna be talking about how to be one if you wanna be one. Or to the opposite, if you don't wanna be one. The first one is like the fake druggy tryhard. And we all know these types because most of them are like in high school and stuff like that. Maybe even in middle school, I don't know. But it's the ones who like, take one puff of a cigarette while their mom isn't looking and now all of a sudden they're like, yeah, I smoke cigs, I'm at like a pack a day. Or like a, Weed was passed to them at a party once and they were like, yo, I like saw a unicorn passing by me. We all know who these druggy tryhard kids are. You know, they try something once, they take like one puff of something and now they're wearing like sublime t-shirts and they listen to the Expendables and they're like all into trippy shit. <sighs> Can't stand those kids. If you want to be a PE tryhard, just, it, it's really simple. Try really, really hard in PE, even though the game doesn't really matter. Try as hard as you can, and then when your teammates mess up, get all up in their face and be like, come on! And then when you beat the other team, be like, get some! I'm the next LeBron James, bitch! Another school try hard, if you want to be a school try hard, is be like the kid in class try hard. The one who is the only kid to offer to read every single time the teacher asks who wants to read. And raise your hand at every single question. And whenever the teacher's like, okay, class is over with, but does anybody have any questions and everyone's ready to leave? Be like, wait, I have 17 questions. Next is the punk try hard. Pierce everything you could possibly think of. Uh, preferably do it yourself. So you can be like, yeah, man, like I was gonna pay for that shit. I like do all my own piercings. Get a couple of basement tattoos. Um, meaningless, completely meaningless tattoos. Make sure they don't mean anything. Uh, make sure they're all in really bad spots that aren't gonna help you get a job. Maybe a couple neck tattoos. Um, yeah. Another way to be a punk tryhard is get the absolutely loudest car you could possibly find. It doesn't even have to be a fast car. As long as it's really, really loud and you know it's just gonna like grab everyone's attention and wake up everyone in your neighborhood, you're good. Ready to be a punk tryhard. Get like a Sunoco sticker and stick it on your bumper because that means you're cool. Anyways, those are my steps for being a tryhard. If you wanna be a tryhard, follow these steps. Not all of them, because you can't really be like the jock tryhard and the punk tryhard at the same time, but you get the gist of it. Anyways, hope you guys know this and I'll talk to you later. Let's wait and be you.